Technology in architecture has been focused for many years really on making shapes and making renderings. But as buildings are becoming smarter in many, many different areas, we're getting more information about the space. But what we're starting to see now is a shift. The design process is much more information rich. The building has a nervous system that you have to really understand, and that nervous system creates a lot of information. We are shifting towards an architecture practice which is thinking more about sustainability, energy efficiency, the long term. We're designing digitally so that you can see how a space will feel before it's built. Just like everyday life, the influence of technology is becoming more apparent. Drones, robots, you're seeing that in architecture just like anything else. A lot of science is getting into architecture as well in terms of simulation, machine learning, and computational design. When buildings are really clever and doing something and people don't even notice, I think that's, that's the thrilling part of it. You can really digitally look at smarter cities, smarter buildings, and that's really critical for architects to look at. We are trying to define uh, the internal structure of an object, like how an object is on the inside, where the structure needs to be more or less resistant to bending moments. There must be something that we can apply to make construction and make architecture more efficient and smarter. So applying robotics technology sounds like a really good idea. Integrating engineering into design, that's my passion. Some tools, uh, they're becoming a standard. It makes sense to learn them as soon as possible. One thing that's always challenging in school is you have so many things going on. You're trying to stay up to date with all the newest software. And Autodesk, I think, goes out of their way to make these tools easily available free so that every year you have the newest version of the software. This technology is amazing. It's going to change the world that we live in. We will have a lot more data about how buildings actually work. And the question is, what are we going to do with that information?